Hello everybody and welcome back to The Average. Today I am super excited because I've been wanting to try out these paints for ages, for ages. Look how cool they look. They're like a little package of pudding, um, packet of yogurt. I don't know, it looks really cool and uh, I really want to try these. And they finally arrived so I'm super excited to unbox these and try them out. So I got the primary set of abstract innovative acrylic innovative I can't say that right and uh, yeah so they seem pretty cool they come in this box you can buy different sets I just bought the primary set because that was the only one that would deliver to where I live there's like a pastel set and I have dreams of it but alas it was not meant to be so let's get into this Ugh. difficult I'll be right back Oh, I stopped recording, but I didn't. So you get a blue, a red, a yellow, and a white and a black. Very handy, very good. Oh my God, it's so satisfying. Thumbnail. Mochi's very interested in my thumbnail taking. But yeah, look at these. These look so cool. Um, I can't wait. I actually, I'm very excited. <laughs> Stop licking that paintbrush, you weirdo. Stop it. Mochi is so cute though. Yes, I love you, but you cushion. <coughs> just smack me in the head. Basically, I've just got a china plate because they are acrylic, so they will dry like a plastic. And uh, I mean, I can just peel them off afterwards, hopefully. If not, good rest in pieces, plate. <laughs> Um, as well as the primary pack, I also got these two extra colours which were quite expensive But they were like the only colours that would ship to me except for this primary pack So I thought I wanted to get them as well just to test them out I really like this blue so this is the turquoise uh, and it has like the numbers There's 120 millilitres in all of them So let's open them up Have a little screw cap and uh, away we go Pesto Oh, pesto! Why are you like this? Leave me alone. These cats are like, you're talking to me, I think. Okay, I'm not gonna put, I put too much there, but the excitement of actually getting to open these things was too much for me. I can also see like, you know that, oh, sorry, my excuse me. The jelly gouache, if they created like refill packs like this, would it be good or? I don't know, but that might be quite like an interesting thing for people who create them like Artex to consider because then you could just, instead of having to throw away that big pot if you run out, so you could just uh, reuse it, refill it. But I guess the problem is that these are still plastic bags, so it's not that great. They don't smell great. And I wonder if after a while trying to open these lids up again is going to be a nightmare because of the paint like drying. I don't know if maybe I have to like wipe the top of this, but I'm, you know me guys, I'm too, that's not really my deal. I'm not a very clean artist, as some of you may know, but I'm very messy when it comes to my art supplies. I'm just, I don't know, lazy? No, not lazy, lazy's not a thing. Abstract. I'm liking these though so far. And let's have a little bit of black, because I don't really like to use black too much, but I guess, you do use it sometimes. Now I'm not really sure what I'm gonna paint, but we're gonna go with it anyway. And I'm gonna use this sketchbook that Artic sent me because it is a multimedia sketch pad and it handled the gouache paint that they sent me quite nicely. So I think I'm gonna be using that. Oh my God, I thought I touched that then and I was like, right. <laughs> gonna have a nightmare. Uh, yeah, and I really liked painting horizontally like this one I painted and I think I'm gonna do that now. Okay, so I'm just going to arrange this quite nicely for you guys so you can see what I'm doing. Very thoughtful, aren't I? <laughs> these are so, I can't get over this. <laughs> I think these are so cool. Probably loads of people have already tried these uh, and have access to like art stores that have everything. But I don't. So when I order stuff online or see new stuff, I get really excited because I've never tried it. So for me, it's like whoop. And I love, love my new paint pot. Six euros, guys. For this mass, I'm gonna watch me spill this everywhere. 
for goodness sakes. What am I even showing you for? Right, leave it there. I have to tell myself off sometimes. I felt like today would be a cool time to bring back some nice motel painting like I used to do um, when I wanted to make a motel comic, which never happened, unfortunately. It kind of evolved into the new comics that I have, but I like the idea of revisiting it somehow. I have to state as well that this is acrylic, which is something that I don't like as much as working with as I do with gouache. But I really like the look of these paints, so I wanted to try it out. I was like, I don't care if it's acrylic, I want to try it. They look cool. So here we are. This is, this is, uh, I'm starting to think these new brushes that I bought are a little bit crap because every time I use them, they're just flake everywhere. And I thought, I think I thought they were like a different brand to what they were. No, they're Della Rowney. <coughs> Do you mind, uh, Mochi? They're Della Rowney, so I don't know why. And this one is like one of my favorites. So maybe it's just like the, the level, maybe it's like a student level or something. I'm not sure. Do you get student levels of brushes? I hate when bits of paintbrush come off, flake off, and just stick to your artwork. It's like, what's your problem? Mochi, calm it down, please, for goodness sakes. Go on, go back to it. No, 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 we're not having it. Goodbye. No, Mochi. So far, I'm liking this paint. I think it's uh, handling quite nicely. It's kind of quite easy to use, blending well. Mochi, stop licking that, for goodness. She keeps licking this brush. Mochi! Don't bite that. Got like a postcard, um, like an art print up here and she just started chewing it. Because I said, can you get away from my water? And she's like, you will pay for this. <laughs> now I will chew your art print. No. The textures are looking a little bit like, I don't know how to explain it other than juvenile. Like they kind of look like something when you first start painting and you just, you don't really, block out the colors so well you just I don't know if that makes sense um, that's what it's kind of looking like to me so let's see if I can fix it um, but that's entirely on me though of course not the paints I do prefer like because I tried acrylic the other day acrylic I tried oils the other day and I don't know if you've seen that video but I have struggled with them like they're hard to use because I'm not used to how you use them. Everyone was telling me in the comments that you have to layer down um, like thin layers and work slowly and I just don't, I don't work that way. So I think me and the oils are done. <laughs> like when everyone was telling me, I was like, mm, that doesn't sound like something I do. So <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna have to try it again because you've got to give it another go. But still at the same time, I'm like, mm. This doesn't really sound like my cup of tea. I, I like to work quite quickly and so acrylics are kind of ideal for that really. But then also I I prefer the way that gouache kind of layers. But I do, there is something about these acrylics that are quite nice. They're kind of giving me a similar vibe to gouache which is nice because when I tried the massive jelly paint ones, um, I don't know if you've seen that video but I've got like a massive box of jelly paints which I used which are acrylic jelly paints, not gouache, as many people tell me, even though <laughs> they're like, I think you mean jelly gouache, even though I think, like, anyway, the point is, I had a lot of that and I really didn't like using it, so I've been trying to use it as much as possible when I need to, like for the wall painting and things like that, and I didn't really like using them, but these ones, they feel a lot nicer, I don't know how to describe it, they're kind of, being able to like manipulate them a bit more than um, than I was with those other ones with the jelly, the big massive pots of it. But yeah, like lately I have been feeling uninspired but inspired. It's really weird. I've been like having days where I'm like, yes, I'm go I'm ready. I'm gonna do this. Uh, today's of being just like, uh, what do I paint? What do I do? I don't know. Is it good? Like, am I good enough? Like, what's going on? I can't do this. Today's of just like, I love painting. It's so weird. I've never had that sort of mix. I've always been either one or the other for like a while. So it's kind of, it's all right though. It's, uh, it's okay. I'm enjoying it and especially when you have new art supplies. I don't know if you guys are the same as me, but when you have something to try out, I'm like, I get excited all over again and that's probably the capitalist in me being like you like spending <laughs> 
so I don't know um, if it's wrong or is right. If it inspires me, is it right? I don't know. And I'm enjoying them. I'm trying to do like, I don't know, just have a bit of a childlike mentality when it comes to artwork a little bit as well. Like just kind of remembering how you felt when you were a kid and it was all fun and when you did stuff, it was like, hey, look what I've done, mum and dad, look how amazing this is. Yeah, your kid's a genius. <laughs> and then you grow up and you're like, oh, right, yeah, okay, oh, oh no, I'm bad at this. <laughs> so I miss that feeling, you know, when you're a kid and you're just having fun. You didn't care, you were like, I'm good at this, man. That kid confidence, right? Where did it go? So when it comes to comics, I, like I said in yesterday's, yesterday, Saturday's video, that I really want to do a long form or a longer form comic. And I did actually find like the the book I was writing that I always really thought would be, work quite well as a as a comic. And I was reading it again, and I was thinking, yeah, I can I can visualize this as a comic. And I have to figure out what I'm gonna do, how am I gonna lay it out, and how many pages are gonna be, and what the ending is because I still I don't know <laughs> I don't know what the ending is. But it should be fun because it will be the first long form comic I've done since I did a graphic novel that I did for my masters and uh, I think yeah it's I think it's a different different beast isn't it doing a long form comic to doing something shorter um, I think shorter is difficult in the sense that you need to have a story and you need to convey it within a short space of time and you have to have people care about the characters or the story or whatever whereas Long form, you can kind of delve more into the character development and the world building and everything like that. So it's a, for me, it's like a totally different format, uh, medium, because it is. Um, so that's a bit intimidating for me. I'm going to be trying to do that, I think. Yeah. I'm really enjoying these paints. I think they're really nice. They're so much more... E easy to manipulate and push around the page than I originally thought like I've had like I said maybe I'm just more used to them maybe I'm just a little bit more used to acrylics again than I was when I first tried them out but I don't know there's something about them that's just I'm enjoying them a bit more So I think I'm done, I don't know, I've had some fun, I've been painting for like a few hours now. I really like these paints, I think they're really cool and yeah, totally worth it. Um, I think they're cheaper if you don't live, you know, a thousand million miles away from anything. 
uh, art supply related. So these are really cool. I really like them. I like squishing them. Um, <laughs> so we did two paintings with them. Uh, this is the first one, which I liked a lot, and then this is the second one, which I think is not super complete. I feel like I need to work on more lighting, not sure. Quite like them for practice pieces, and yeah. Um, what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. I'll also link these paints. Uh, I got them off Amazon. I will link them down below, so let me know what you think if you get them. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, see you next time. Bye!